turn towards the person, lean in. Dr. John Gottman is a specialist in marriage and family therapy and uh, done a lot of research when it comes to marriages and families and what makes them work and not work. I do not agree with everything that Dr. Gottman proposes, but he has made a lot of uh, interesting discoveries. And one of the things that he discovered in his, uh, in his studies is that couples in their interactions succeed in marriage when they learn, when the husband and wife learn to lean into each other and to really make sure that they are toward the person when they're interacting. A very simple thing, but instead of turning away, they turn toward. When someone, when one of the, the spouses, the husband or the wife, makes an initiative to interact, the other person turns toward. Instead of turning away or ignoring, there's an engagement in the process, a physical turning toward as well as an emotional turning toward. It's one of the seven secrets of lasting relationships. It's very simple, but it's something that everyone can do because when you turn your back on someone that's talking to you, what have you communicated to them? You've communicated, I'm not interested in what you're saying. All these are simple things, but very powerful things. Here's the third one. Give encouragement to the speakers. When someone is sharing something with you, not only are you to be looking at them and present in the room, but engage them. Shake your head as they're talking. Engage them. Tell me more. What did you mean by that? It's called minimal encouragers. That's why pastors will often say, give me a big Amen. Why, what am I doing? I'm asking for some encouragement because I'm going to preach better and you're going to hear more whenever you're engaged in the process. And I will tell you, a pastor always preaches better when he gets a few amens here and there. Amen. Can I get a big amen? All right. Okay. Now, I wasn't setting you up for an amen. Okay. <laughs> But I was, I, was, I was attempting to teach you the value of that when you're engaging with someone. You see the difference, okay? When you're talking to that person, you're saying, yeah, yeah, I get that. Oh, yeah, tell me more. What's happening is you're, you're, they're, they're aware of the fact that you're actively a part of the process. You're not passively sitting back, but you're actively engaged. Can I get a good amen? 